Hello everybody, my name is Kai, and welcome back to Warframe. Today we will be taking a look at the fantastic, very, very underrated frame, Zephyr. Acquiring Zephyr is actually really, really easy. All you have to do is go to your clan's tenno lab, go over to the Warframe section, and she is right there. The build requirements for Zephyr are also really, really light, and I think that every single new player should pick her up, because in my opinion, she is better than every other single frame in this area. And I don't just say that lightly. The current meta in Warframe is not really a crowd control meta, it's more of a just kill everything. Zephyr actually combines very very good crowd control and the kill everything through her fourth ability tornadoes. She also does this while being practically invulnerable, and this is because Zephyr and her third ability make her one of the best tanks alongside others such as Rhino, Neja, and Revenant as you literally can't take damage while it's up. And I think this is really strong because lately the meta alongside shield gating is to not take damage through iframes instead of health tanking and other things in that sort of area. And to top all of it off, she has some of the best damage in the entire game. Our Helmet option for today is Roar, for a plentitude of reasons. Subsuming Roar over Zephyr's first ability allows us to do increased damage with our weapons and abilities. Using an unmodded Tenet Tetra, you will see that the base damage here is 17. Obviously, this does have the progenitor bonus, but when we use Roar, you will see that now we are doing 23. It is not a typical additive damage ability though. It functions like a faction mod, which is what differentiates it from other abilities like Eclipse and Zada's Whisper. And unlike those two abilities again, it also buffs the damage of your Warframe's abilities themselves. So things like Exalted Weapons, or in this case, Zephyr's Tornadoes. Getting to its intricacies later, when you first cast Tornadoes, if you just tap cast, you will create three Tornadoes that the Augment that just roam around to search for enemies. Meanwhile, holding to cast the ability will create three stationary Tornadoes that do not move. When enemies are affected by Tornadoes, they will be put into this sort of ragdoll state. The tornadoes will affect them with slash and puncture with four ticks of damage a second. Now, when you do shoot your tornadoes with your own weapon, the tornadoes will inherit the status effect of whatever weapon you are using, or its main one, and all damage will be redistributed to all enemies with a 200% critical multiplier, which is very, very strong because it allows statuses to crit as well, like electricity and gas, which is very strong. This will take into account the highest base damage or elemental damage of any weapon, so here with this latum modded for heat, it will adopt heat because because it was doing higher damage than my Fulman was, obviously with no stacks or many mods applied. The way the tornadoes inherit and inflict status effects is a little bit confusing. Right now I will afflict it with viral and then it will spread that to all these other enemies, but you do need to make sure that it is the highest element on whatever weapon you're using to get it on it. The 200% critical multiplier that the tornadoes grant turns the crit chance on this Fulman from 30% to 90%. Zephyr's second ability is her grouping ability, Airburst. Now, Airburst is a relatively simple ability. On cast, it will group enemies into a tight little ball and ragdoll them. This synergizes really, really well with her tornadoes because even though they have a decent range, you can use the Airburst to pull them into the tornadoes when they otherwise would have not been able to reach it. It also does apply the slash status effect to them, but it's kind of useless and I don't really know why they considered that a buff, but very, very strong for grouping enemies. And finally, we have her third ability, Turbulence. Turbulence grants Zephyr that practical immortality that I was talking about earlier. On cast, you create a windshield around yourself, and this just makes you pretty much invulnerable to whenever enemies try to shoot at you, as all of their projectiles are just reflected back at them. You literally don't take any damage. The only things that can actually affect Zephyr in this form are AoE projectiles and like the Fire X and Mrs. Wave, and melee attacks. If an enemy gets close to you, and melees you, you will actually take damage. But that is such a difficult thing for enemies to do in this game because one, they'll be dead, and two, because of Zephyr's passive. The first thing her passive does is grant her sort of anti-grav, she just is lighter in the air, which allows her mobility to be better. Spawning some enemies in and using a Glaive Prime on them, while in the air you will see that I am hitting very very consistent oranges with my Glaive Prime, but if I stay on the ground, you will notice that I hit more yellows than I do oranges, and that is for a reason. Zephyr's passive grants critical chance. This is where the synergies of this build start to appear. While in the air, you gain 150% additive, not multiplicative critical chance. The only way to die on Zephyr with Turbulence active is to be meleeed. If you're in the air, that's literally impossible. And with Roar, we gain extra bonus damage to all of our DOTs and damage in general, which makes our Glaive Prime very, very good alongside the extra critical chance that her passive gives us, giving a frame a fantastic passive of more damage, a grouping ability, and practical immortality is absolutely broken. 
and that's not even using her best ability, her fourth. The actual build for Zephyr places a very very high emphasis on the range stat. This is largely due to the fact that with more range, we can cast our tornadoes and not have to move them as much, so even with stationary tornadoes, we can pull a very large group of enemies into them with just one cast. Every single one of those enemies with the 280% range on Zephyr is now pulled into them. Besides range, we don't really need much strength on this build because the damage is already so high. Roar functioning in the multiplicative way that it does means that running 95 base with multi-augmented giving us another 60 is perfectly, perfectly fine. The only thing that I would actually consider switching on this build is the aura slot, but this is a no forma build, which I think is very, very important because you can take this build right here and use it instantly. But if you do not want to format, you can also use the Combat Discipline mod. Pairing Combat Discipline with Arcane Avenger gives you even more critical chance, which is something that Zephyr likes, especially because of her passive. I use Aerodynamic though because I have no way of regaining health if not using some of the other methods, but besides that, other great arcanes for her would be things like Growing Powered or Corrosive Projection to help with armor even though the damage is so high that it isn't really that big of a deal. We are running decent duration on this build through the use of Augur Message, Constitution, and Continuity because we just want to not have to recast these abilities a Lot. Roar, Turbulence, and Tornadoes have decent duration. I think anything above 35 seconds is enough so you're not recasting it all the time. And even though we do have that practical invincibility on this build with Turbulence, I do slot Rolling Guard in because you can still be affected by certain status effects and they will kill you. Because besides Turbulence, Zephyr is a really, really squishy frame. You need this ability to survive, so if you get hit with a status effect, Rolling Guard is great to be able to get rid of it really quickly. One of the best weapons and my personal favorite to use on Zephyr is the Fulman. The Fulman comes with base electricity, which is really great as an AoE damaging status effect. Now we do want our electricity weighting to be higher than our gas, so we do use high voltage to get some more, but you do want to have gas on here as the both of them combined with tornadoes makes their damage absolutely insane. If we come up to some enemies with just roar and no stacks of any kind, one tornado cast and one shot of our fulmin, one shots them all. It's just as simple as that. And on the steel path, it is literally the same story except easier because the enemies are all not corrupted heavy gunners. I just use air burst, group them into my tornadoes, which by the way, I am just placing in one spot and I just shoot it and they die. And I think that that's where Zephyr's power comes from, is that while the Fulman and her have a great interaction, you can use any weapons on her and they will become good. And also, you know, if you have pesky Eximus units like that, you just use your Glaive Prime, jump in the air, and you just nuke them. One thing I will say is that the Tornado's hitboxes can be odd, but if they are, just shoot another one, and if they're close enough, it'll affect all the enemies regardless. But with that being the build pretty much said and done, just decided I'd take another look at Zephyr. Obviously, the quality of my videos has improved since I last made one, so hopefully this one does well. But with that being said, yeah, I think that I'm going to try and stick with how I make these types of videos. I think that they look a little bit better and they're more pleasant to watch. They do take a little bit longer, and I've also been absolutely swamped with things going on in my life. Lately, I don't really get much time to make these, so uploads might be a little bit more scarce, but I will still get at least two out per week, and I always stream on Saturdays for a pretty long time so come join by for those besides that thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you yes every single one of you and i would appreciate it some more if you went and dropped a like and subbed to my channel we are growing super super fast we might have even hit 3,000. i should go check that but besides that i hope that you are all doing well and i will see you in the next one peace